I think I can speak for every One Piece fan when 90% of us are pretty excited for the upcoming Egghead Island arc to begin in the anime, and we're finally ready to move on from Wano because that's been going on for almost for a little over four years now, and I think most of us are tired of that. Now, I have read the manga, so I already know what goes on in Egghead Heart, but a lot of people haven't, so this is going to be a time where a big majority, a lot of One Piece fans are going to be moving out of Wano because that's a lot of One Piece fans like where they started into a new arc for the first time and they're going to experience it with everyone at the same time and netflix kind of realizes this and they're taking that and they're going to cash in on it as much as they can now netflix has a strange history with one piece um because they only acquired the show a few years ago and they're at a strange point in the show on netflix they also have some fillers and some of the movies and they also did the live action one piece which to be fair was pretty good but overall for netflix one piece is just a cash grab series and that's proven by their lack of commitment when it comes to certain aspects of the show, like how One Piece only goes to Marineford on Netflix. And then they tweet this. On an island with technology and science beyond comprehension, what deep secrets will the Straw Hat crew uncover in Egghead? One Piece Egghead Island arc is coming to Netflix January 13th. When my friend sent me that screenshot, I had to fact check it and I did fact check it. They did. This is a real tweet. I was like actually baffled because why? What's the point? Like there's literally no reason for them to do this now other than to cash in on the hype that Egghead is getting and the hype that One Piece in general is getting um, over the last year, a couple years. And it just really doesn't make sense because you go on Netflix, like I said earlier, and you can only watch up to Marineford. So they're just going to skip basically the entire time skip except for Egghead and just pick up with Egghead. It's so strange to me. I don't even understand why they're doing this other than the fact that they know they're going to be making, it's going to get the views, it's going to get clicks because there's a lot of, now that One Piece live action is a thing and since One Piece has been on Netflix for a while, especially now that um, One Piece is in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade, one Piece is getting very popular and arguably is on the levels of like Dragon Ball popularity in Western culture now. So they're going to want to make as much money off of this as possible. And they know that if they include the Egghead, Egghead arc, despite not having any of the post time skip for anything at all, instead of having none of that, they know if that they start doing the Egghead arc, people are going to click on it because there's a One Piece craze. And a lot of fans who don't know a whole lot about One Piece will see that and they'll be like, oh, great. I remember, you know, watching up until Marine Ford and that was really cool. So this is the next, this is the next thing. And to me, that's a problem because that's going to essentially lie to a lot of more casual fans of the show who like, you know, either picked it up through Netflix and are watching as Netflix releases or picked it up through the live action series and then decided to watch the anime. Um, or only have seen the live action series and saw that this is coming out. And since it's, you know, people who have seen the show on Netflix who have only seen up to Marine Ford might think that Egghead is what's after Marine Ford. Or even people who haven't watched One Piece and they've only seen the live action think that Egghead is going to be its own separate thing. Because there's two ways they can list this show. They can either list it as the latest season under One Piece, which means one casual One Piece fans who watch through Netflix might think that Egghead is after Marine Ford, which it is, but directly after Marine Ford. Or it will be its own separate listing as a show and One Piece live action fans and potentially anime fans will see that and think that it's its own original series and not the current the current show. Um, so to me, that's a problem. And I hope that either they are going to somehow fill in the rest of the 600 episodes they're missing, 700, 600, 700 episodes they're missing on Netflix um, before or when this drops. Or they go back on it, or they clearly state, like, if they list it separately, it's like, hey, we're missing, like, we don't have 700 episodes between Marine Ford and this, you'll have to go watch that somewhere else, which you can watch that on Crunchyroll for free, I believe, and sub, and if you have premium, you can watch the dub, um, and of course, there's plenty of sites to pirate it on. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about with the One Piece Netflix situation, uh, the Egghead Netflix situation. Now I kind of want to move into something more positive. Um, One Piece, because of the Egghead Island arc beginning on January 13th, is going to be getting a brand new opening. Now I saw that some people say that Peak didn't get enough screen time. And to be fair, before Wano, 
four to five months was kind of the standard for One Piece openings, and you can you can see that way uh, pretty much every arc before Wano, we would get a new opening every four to five months, sometimes even less than that. And with a lot of new fans coming in during Wano, it would make sense why they would think that, oh, Peak only ran for four months? That's really short. Um, no, that's pretty normal. It's just that Wano was so ungodly long in the anime that openings had to be used longer than they probably needed to, um, which is why Peak only got used for four months and then a one-month break, and then we get a new one. Um, and I hope we kind of keep go we go back to how it was before Wano where we get a new opening every three to five months because I really like the, the pace. Um, but anyways, speaking of openings, we've got a brand new opening for Egghead Island, and I'm gonna play just a little bit of that right here. And in addition to getting this amazing looking OP, I highly recommend you go check it out. I'll leave a link to the full video in the description. It's actually crazy. Um, in addition to this, we are once again getting another ending. Now, last time we got a new ending, I believe it was the first new ending we had gotten in almost a decade or maybe even a decade. I'm not quite sure. I just know that we've had this. we had the same opening since around Annie's Lobby, so I guess it had been about a decade. Um, and then they finally changed it uh, when they changed when when Peak came out as the opening. They changed the ending to a new ending, and once again we are getting a new ending um, that's coming out with the new opening. And I hope this trend continues because I don't want another situation where we are stuck on the same ending for years while we're getting new openings every few months. Um, just as much One Piece content as we can get would be amazing. Um, and I'll play a little bit of the ending right here for you. Again, a very beautiful ending. I really like the direction they're taking with the Egghead Island arc. Now, I am aware, um, or at least hopefully, that the animation that they used for the opening is a lot more stylized than they are going to go for the show. I don't think the show is going to look exactly like it does in the opening, but I think it's going to be pretty close. Um, and we can see that through some of the screenshots that they have shared with us on Twitter. And the, and the preview as well that they shared to us on Twitter. Yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Um, Netflix is doing Egghead for some reason. And then also relating to Egghead, we have a new opening and a new ending coming that both look spectacular. And I think I speak for everybody when I say we are very excited to see One, uh, One Piece Egghead Island arc get animated into the show. Um, because personally, it's my second favorite arc right behind the Water 7 and his lobby stuff. And I'm really excited to see some certain character backstories. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you can read the manga. Because um, it'll probably be... A, some of that will take a while for the anime. It'll probably be a few months, at least. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. I'm personally very excited for Egghead Island. Let me know what you guys are excited for. Um, and let me know any predictions. Because uh, Egghead Island arc is wrapping up in the manga. So if you have any predictions on what the next arc is going to be let me know in the descriptions i think pretty much everyone is dead set on elbaf being the next arc but you never know what's going to happen with oda so let me know if you think something else and yeah that's pretty much it for the video i will see you guys in the next rant peace